This is John Renault's Julian Light in the color 12 FS12. Now John Renault has come out with some new styles uh, this year, and uh, but particularly I really liked this one. This Julian Light, they really did capture the kind of technology I think that we're all looking for, which is a little bit of lighter cap materials. Honestly, this feels just like a, a second skin. It's just so incredibly light. Now, as you know, Julianne is a completely hand-tied style anyway, so it's gonna be super realistic. It's so comfortable and easy to wear. Very, very natural in terms of density, lace front, of course, the hand-tied cap. And this is Joy from the wig program. This is my favorite of those that I have explored so far, and it deserves a really nice review on my top picks for 2021. Again, this is Joy in the color 82660HS12. Joy features that six and a half inch, six and a half to seven inch piece right there at the front, and it just kind of swings back into the style. It has a little bit of lift and contour there where it separates at the part. It has this lovely brushed out loose beach wave. Now Joy does feature a lace front and a full monofilament top. You can part it wherever you like. Beautiful dimensional blonde, it's rooted. The style overall, which I love, is very similar, if not exact, to the Avalon by Aesthetica. It just features a little bit of a smaller cap. But again, I'm just super grateful that uh, they made a very popular style, four of them in fact, uh, in more of a petite style cap. So I really enjoy the beach wave look of the uh, Petite Berlin and the, the little bit of fringe there. I think it's just overall a very flattering style. And this is why it made my top pick for Aesthetica from 2021. The style is Meadow by Noriko, shown in the color Champagne R. First of all, it's no fuss, no muss. It's just your standard cap Noriko. Um, the bangs are about three and a half to four inches. They're nicely out of the way. Um, I really love just the carefree look and design of this angled bob, straight bob style. I think the layering was very thoughtfully done and it's just, I love this, this is a big deal for me. It's just super wearable. So I selected as my favorite the Jocelyn by Renee of Paris. Jocelyn is a little, draws a little bit of polarity in opinion just because there's such a huge variance from style to style. The piece that I had um, was super voluminous, really wavy. I mean, it was wavy on the top, it was wavy at the temple. Um, there is no way I could have made that style look like the manufacturer's photo. Um, but I do enjoy the concept of it. A voluminous curly short bob is definitely up my alley and I really appreciated having that jostle. Ellen Villa's A Claw, four and a half inch bang. It's about 12 to 13 inches overall. This is a heat friendly style. It is a what they consider a partially hand tied cap. It features a lace front, a full single monofilament top, and then there's some integrated wefting, which I believe is maybe just partially hand tied throughout the cap. My favorite top pick for Gabor in 2021 is the Premium Luxury. I recently reviewed this style um, because it just really is very, very wearable with that four and a half inch bang, all of that beautiful layering. It's kind of short to mid length. Um, the wispy fiber, the razor cut makes it nice and modern and it's not too big and full with just a little bit of permatees or no permatees at all actually. And I really, really loved that style. This style was released in 2021. It just feels like it's been with me forever. I reach for it a lot. It is one of my favorites. This is Belle Tress's Dalgona 16. That first layer um, just really flatters the face. There's a little bit of contour off of the lace front and lighter red. I gotta tell you, I really love that lighter red. I thought it was really spectacular in terms of color. I also like the little bit of a looser curl pattern on that particular Jordan. And in fact, I think that if the one in light blonde would have had the same exact curl pattern as the one in lighter red, I probably would have kept them. Um, but I no longer have those styles. 
But among all of the new releases by Envy, uh, that Jordan style was my favorite. Of course, it's right up my alley with all of that beautiful curl. Um, it has a lace front, left monofilament part. Uh, this one is my favorite release by Raquel Welch for 2021. Long, straight style with tons of layering, more of a rough cut kind of texture. There's a lot of a modern point cut along those layers, which just really exaggerates that layering, makes it look really super modern. And I think it's really flattering. And the well played is a lace front left monofilament side part, Tressalor style, which is, you guessed it, the picture perfect. And I'll throw up some footage here um, in the color 3330. Um, a beautiful, beautiful tri-blend of some light, medium, and dark auburn shades. It's brilliant. I featured it in my Fall Colors Closet Tour, but again, you'll see all of the beautiful layering, very similar to Well Played. It's kind of got that notch cut on the ends, making it super modern and wispy looking. And it is also heat friendly. Now this one features a lace front and full monofilament top. And Henry Margu did come out with some really beautiful styles in 2021. And I believe my favorite was the Willow style. And again, I just fell in love with the beautiful beach wave of Willow. It was in the color 10613 GR, which is my absolute favorite. But you'll see that it is a long, kind of a loose beach wave style, but it has a very manageable fringe and it does have some, a lace front and a beautiful monofilament feature. So it is very nice and realistic. It's a lot of hair. This is Amore's Emmy in the color Spring Honey Tea. Now I, uh, I purchased this one and I wasn't real sure about it, but I absolutely fell in love with it. This one really hit the spot for me. I really do liken this style to the John Renault's Ignite. However, this one has a lace front and a double monofilament top. Super realistic. It's a short little polished angled bob cut. 